Hello friends and welcome to PC Tips Pro. In this video, I will explain you today how you can add Google form on your website. Either it's your HTML website or the PHP website or even the WordPress. So there are different way for the WordPress. Right now I'm going to explain how you can add the Google form on your HTML or the PHP website. So first you need to do is to uh, create a Gmail account or if you already have a Gmail account that's very good so go on the Google and uh, search for Google form and open the website now it will ask you to choose either you want to use it for the personal or for the business purpose so I'm going to select personal and here you can see I have created some of the contact information some of the Google Forms to take the inputs from my uh, website visitors so let's just start from the beginning and I'm creating a new Google Form so click on blank which says plus sign and uh, prepare the Google form according to your needs that means what inputs you need uh, and what information you want to collect from your visitors so I'm going to head uh, I'm going to provide the title here demo and uh, this is the description now uh, first I want to uh, take the input from my visitor and that is the short answer and my question will be your name and uh, second to create the second just click on this copy icon then it will give you a, another in the second I want to take the email address and if you want to do it mandatory make sure uh, check this box you can see uh, you can create a duplicate also as I done just before and here you can see if you want to make this field mandatory you can check this box require in the same way if you want your email uh, to be a mandatory email field then also check this box okay now again I'm going to make a copy of the same and I'm going to rename it so I have collected the name I have uh, I mean the prepared uh, the field for the name email now I'm going to prepare the field for phone because I want to uh, take the phone number also now here you can check all the options you can see uh, either you want to uh, take the information through the paragraph or you want to provide the multiple choice or the checkbox or the drop down you can select according to your needs so I have done the name email phone number and the last I am going to accept and that is a what is your question I'm sorry and uh, it should be the paragraph so I'm going to select the paragraph and uh, I have also uh, done this field mandatory that means you will have to answer this field so once so this is the uh, I'm the this is the form I have created here on which I want to accept the information I want to uh, get the information from my website visitors and now next is to click on the option you can see there are several options coming up uh, customize themes preview settings send so if I talk about the Google form uh, tutorial I will provide you the complete tutorial uh, in the other video I will upload a new video but this time I'm going to uh, this video is about to how you can add the Google form to the website so I will mainly focus on that part so next once you prepare your Google form click on this send option 
now here uh, there are several options coming up you can see email or here the second one you can see the link and the third one you can see it's embed HTML right so make sure uh, there are there's a code coming up in embed HTML uh, page so I will just go ahead and copy this code here okay and uh, will paste somewhere so I have pasted in the notepad now you can go back to the this that was the first part this is the first step and uh, it's a done now the second step is to go back to your uh, hosting or the website uh, hosting where you have uploaded uh, your website to the internet so I have uploaded my website on the GoDaddy so now you can see I'm logged into the GoDaddy and uh, I will open the file manager and once the file manager will open this is just an example I'm uh, providing you that how you can implement this so I will uh, put this HTML Google form code anywhere so that you can understand it now I will open public underscore HTML then we'll open the website softhubspot.com and we'll go ahead and open the index let's put it on the in, uh, index home page just to show you how you can implement so if you go on the website this time soft hub spot there is no any Google form I have created I have created the other forms the contact form but I have not created a Google form you can see this is the different form I have uh, created using the same language in which I have developed the website but now I'm going to uh, add here just below the our partner section I'm going to add the Google form so I'm going to copy this code here from here and I'm going to paste it in the website so let me go down and find the partner section and uh, here you can see it's ending uh, up now so I'm going to paste the same code on the HTML page this one is the page and click on save changes so once you paste the same HTML code on the page uh, then refresh the page it's refreshed now then go back to the bottom and now you will find here you can see uh, the Google form is now coming up on my website you can see it's asking for the name email phone number and the question right so once your visitor will enter all the information and click on submit the same information you can get on the Google form here that will come up in the response you can see here responses so let me just show you one demo right now it's a zero response coming up so let me fill my name here it's a PC tips pro right and I'm going to enter the demo um, email which is demo at gmail.com and the phone number I'm going to enter because it's mandatory and the question I'm just going to enter hi how may I help you and going to click on submit now you can see here your response has been recorded so once you click on submit uh, it will send the same information to your Google now you can see there is a one response coming up 